This is going to come as a huge shock to a lot of people, and it came as a huge shock to me, but I really liked this movie. I really, really liked it too, but I, that's probably not a shock to anybody since you liked I all love of them. Harry Potter. I, I love Harry Potter too. I hated the last book. I hated the first part, uh, Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 1. Uh, the thing that, that confuses me though is... I, I love this movie because I thought it wrapped the series up great. I thought that everything uh, was working in terms of really letting us know that this is their final moments and, and all this. And all of this stuff, I hated in the last book. I didn't think that it worked in the last book at all. But it's the same goddamn story. So what the fuck is going on here? Why did I like this movie and I didn't like the second half of the book? And it's really making me wonder... If I would have liked the last book, if it had been split up into two books, like if the first part of the first book was one book and the last part of the first book was another, maybe I would have hated the first one and I would have liked the second one. I don't know. But um, everything in this movie really worked. I still think that they kind of went a little overboard on the action and maybe there could have been more of an emotional story being told here just a little bit. But... Um, I don't know. I really liked it. I thought everything was firing on all cylinders. Um, I loved Snape's story. That's the one thing that I, I did like in the se in the last book uh, was uh, the story of Snape. They did that really well. Um, I don't know. It was very good. I I thought it was great. I thought I thought. I mean, I don't understand why you didn't hate, didn't like the last book as much as you did. I mean, I know mm -hmm. it was a little slow mm -hmm. in the, especially the beginning i mean i'm rereading the last book right now and it, it does have slow parts but wasn't that bad and the first movie of part seven was not as good as the second one. i mean the second one it just had a different feel to it yeah it felt like i, I don't know if it had i don't know really look at these things but did it have like a different director and not it had the far, same not director and I everything know. i mean it yeah. just had a better feel like even like you even said before like the from the very first moment this movie starts it just had this this feel to it that you're like wow this is gonna be good yeah i saw this, this that scene of uh, of the the kids walking in the school and then snape is looking down and they do this really good shot of him and i actually said you know if the rest of the movie is as good as this opening this is gonna be a really good yeah, like film. the cinematography was great the score was great it mm -hmm. was like um it wasn't over the top just the score just set you up for the, like, like this is a serious serious moment yeah and this is, you know, going to be really something that's going to happen. I just thought they did a real... I mean, that's the thing. You love this movie, but they did a really, really good job of making it exactly pretty much of, as it was in the book. Yeah. I mean, uh, almost with... everything... I mean, a little bit shortened, but mm. pretty much everything that happened in the movie happened in the book. Yeah, and, that, I, I and this, this brings me back to my confusion because I, I didn't think in the book that there was enough of a, a, a real sense that everyone was there rallying around Harry. But then you have the scene in the movie where he comes in there and everybody's cheering, which happened in the book. I thought that were great in the movie. When they're all defending the castle to give Harry a chance, I thought that were great in the movie. I thought it worked lousy in the book. So what the hell is going on here? And may, I'm, I have half a mind to sit down and just read the last half of that book to see if, if I would like it any better. But I think if I don't, it might be that... One thing that I did think about the last book, in addition to all the other problems I had with it, is that I didn't think that she was describing things very well. I could see what she was trying to do, but she wasn't She wasn't putting it on the page very well. Maybe it's just that I could see it. Maybe it's just that I could hear it. Maybe it was the performance. I, I don't know. Um, this has never happened to me before. I've never had such a bad reaction to, to one thing and had such a good reaction to an, a, another incarnation of it when it's the same damn thing. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm baffled. I don't know because I, I, especially the last like third of the book, I thought was really good. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't. I don't know. I do know that there are one or two things about this movie that they improved over the book. Like they made decisions to make little changes that I think really helped the story that she was trying to tell in the book. Like uh, completely revamping what happens with the uh, the dude that works at the bank. Like it's it's not nearly as long getting from point from yeah, plot like point Shell A to Cottage. plot point B. Yeah. They spent like an afternoon there rather yeah. than like a month, a month. <laughs> or whatever the heck they yeah. did. Uh, that, that helped. I know it was for time purposes, but it was still a good decision. It didn't need to be a month no. like trying to convince that guy and I'm trying to figure out how to yeah how to break in and get out and whatever yeah it was way too long way too tedious um uh, they completely reworked the ending fight between Harry and Voldemort and they made it a lot more enjoyable because in the book it's just like 
you know, one hit, one hit, he's dead, Harry wins. Here it's a little more satisfying and um like fall off the bridge. Or fly yeah, off yeah. Or it, 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 it's no, cool. Well, they it's had a, to make it a little bit more Yeah. Exciting. But they, they couldn't just go by the book. The book that, that was a very disappointing uh yeah. fight in the book and I thought this this ended it very well. Although I think uh, there the one thing I had to point out was the whole Molly killing Bellatrix thing mm-hmm. like I know before the movie came out it was like this big deal like I guess they had to get PG-13 just for that word or like just to call her a bitch just to say and it was literally like 30 seconds i don't even know what happened i'd honestly like it (laughs) happened so quick whatever bellatrix did to threaten Ginny was so quick i was like wait what not my daughter you (laughs) bitch and then bellatrix is dead and then move along like there was such a hype made out of a 30 second scene that was completely ridiculous well it was just so they could i mean in the book i actually kind of liked it i was like wow molly holy crap like (laughs) That was awesome, but in the movie, it actually didn't work. Well, I didn't think it was any better in the book. I thought it was a really cheap way to get a reaction I mean, out of the readers. I mean, kind of, but I kind of liked and Mo- it. And come on, Molly's going to kill Bellatrix. It yeah, should have been It should have been. Molly either. had ha- nothing to do with Bellatrix No, either. she no, didn't. I, that, yeah. So I don't know. It was a little bit the, uh, lame. Yeah, I, th- I thought it was, it was lame on both ends. Um, I also, you know, as much as I liked the ending fight, I never really liked the Deathly Hallows. I still don't know what in fuck hell they have to do with anything in this story other than just being there. And I didn't like the fact that this all came down to the Elder Wand, because to me it came down to just a really stupid, nerdy math problem uh, that everybody yeah, had to figure out. all the wands and stuff. I uh, was wondering, like, because I think there was a few people in the theater when we watched. I don't think they had read the book. They just mm-hmm. seemed too shocked at some of the things like that whole Voldemort little weird baby thing somebody uh, was like totally shocked I at know. that so I don't think they read the book uh-huh. but I was sitting there thinking like this whole thing about who owns the wand because who disarmed who is mm-hmm. so confusing like I understood it because I read the book a couple of times and whatever mm-hmm. but I'm thinking like people who haven't read the book are they even going to be able to follow this yeah like two movies ago Draco disarmed Dumbledore mm-hmm. and like are they going to remember that and know what the heck is going on because it actually matters I, I t- I'm a fan and I, I mean, didn't remember it I mean I, I knew yeah. who what the, who the Elder One belonged to because I read the book but I had to read that part in the book three times because I'm like wait okay so it fell, yeah. fell to him and her and you're doing this but like I said this Snape algebra and, problem Yeah, you, he thinks it's Snape but it's not Snape it's yeah. Draco, and then because Harry disarmed Draco's other wand later than Dra- Harry, like, what? But, you know, uh, my... It's my... too confusing, and, like, this is a kid's book? Like, how are kids <laughs> gonna follow this? It's just tedious, and then my friend who does my alternate uh, theme song actually made a, a really good point in his review, uh, he, uh, which was of, since when does disarming people count as defeating them? I guess that's arguable, but it just yeah. kind of seems well, like a cop-out. I literally read that part last night, and Ollivander mm-hmm. said that, you know, you don't necessarily have to kill them mm-hmm. i guess that was but how many times have they been disarmed everybody's getting disarmed all the time in those books that's just, true and that yeah. yeah even just practicing does that mm-hmm. mean like you you disarm yeah, now that- neville in the <laughs> room of requirement when they're practicing that that yeah. means he, his wand is yours i didn't even think about that yeah, yeah that's well we're getting we're getting stuck on the negatives i did like yeah. the movie no, so no, um that's if you it, it, it's, it's with her books and the movies mm-hmm. if you think about it too hard, you're gonna be able to pick it apart. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but the end, the they, ending fight was still good. Yeah, ultimately they did a really good job. Uh, the thing that I liked the most about the movie and the, and the one thing, the one saving grace that I thought the last book had was when they finally go back and tell Snape's full story because I, I always trusted Snape. You know, he he was my, he was my favorite character in the book, and I knew, you know, because. He's not a nice guy, but he always does the right thing. And I always thought that because of that, he was the most interesting character in the book. You always like the bad guys. Though. I do. I do. I but he but he's bad, bad, he's, but Yeah, you know. he's bad, but he's but he's good at heart. And I thought he's that was interesting. Grumpy. Yeah. He um, never got but laid. well, can you blame him? He never got laid. <laughs> yeah, but the girl he... he liked. So you know. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> can you blame him? You know, in the first book, you know, he has this resentment towards Harry, and you don't know why. And you're given an explanation at the end of the first book, which is that Harry's dad uh, saved was his an life. Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we learned later that, that he's an asshole, but in the in the oh, in the yeah. first book, well, yeah, was the like, explanation is that he, your his your dad saved his life, and so he he resents you, and you're like, okay, th- that doesn't explain why he ha- he resents Harry this much. And throughout the course of the of the series, you're like, what is going on here? Why does he have? Uh, and this this movie and the book I- explained everything because not only when he looks at Harry, not only does he see. Lily, and it's just this constant reminder of this woman that he loved that he's never going to have. He also sees just one more thing that James got to have with her that he didn't. You know, that should have been his son. And 
that but not to mention the fact that Harry has her eyes, so it's just like yeah. looking right into it's Lily's eyes. It's a constant eyes reminder. Yeah, yeah. I, th- that hit it out of the park for me. That that wrapped everything up for yeah, him. They did that... a really good job of like taking. I mean, they had a whole pair, a whole chapter in the book about it, but they did a really good job of doing you know these flashbacks without having whole scenes and mm-hmm. like the the score and everything that went with it. It was really emotional, and they did a really good job of like. Keeping the pace of the movie, though, but still telling a story. I think they yeah. did a really good job with it that. It was yeah. very emotional, and they did a very good job. And um, it really makes you feel for, for Snape. And, and it's a it's a bit of a vindication for me, because uh, through reading the series, I realized that I don't like James very much. I think he's kind of a jerk. Well, we don't and, honestly learn that much about him. I mean, just a couple of scenes and mm-hmm. the ones we saw, he was a jerk, but we don't really see too much of him. I'm sure he grew out of it. I'm I mean, sure he did, and he has a few good qualities, I know, but I, uh, they just... Harry is constantly... Just obsessing over his dad, and every once well, in a while he'll men- yeah, but I mean, whether once- he's a jerk or okay. not, it's still his dad. But every once in a while he'll mention his mom, and I'm thinking, you know, Harry, your mom saved your life. What did James do besides play well, Quidditch he really well? Tried to slow Voldemort I, down. I know. He could, I know. didn't have a wand with him. I'm not saying do. he shouldn't. Say, I'm just saying, you know. No, From I, my I point know. of view, it, it, I'm, but it's it, a boy and his dad. I understand. And, it's not a character yeah. flaw. It's just a personal uh, problem of mine. I would probably react differently if I was Harry. I'd be kind of like, you know, screw my dad. My mom was great and all this, but you know, I would be a mama's <laughs> boy. But that's just me. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to say was um, the crotchety old bastard that's been playing Dumbledore ever since um, the good Dumbledore <laughs> died. Uh, he did get better. He played a, a very good Dumbledore in the in the last movie. He played a good one here, but. Um, just laughing, remembering the, all the <laughs> stupid things he did in like, the fourth one, especially. Oh, yeah, he's like, grumping at everybody and yelling. Just put your name in the fire! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's trying to strangle oh Harry. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a you. jerk off. But um, I, I said, uh, in addition to not liking him as, as Dumbledore, I thought he would play a really, really good Aberforth. The guy who played Aberforth in this movie was better that was, was really he good. did a good ass job. That's the thing is that the the cat they barely gave him any time, but you know yeah, they had but, a lot well, to put in the movie. Yes, so. and for what they did, he he played the role very and well. And he didn't really do honestly that much in the book, so it yeah, was, it was okay. But yeah, I liked him. I'm like, oh, you know, he's gone. Yeah, this this movie worked really well. I don't know what the difference is between the movie and the book. It's this. It's not even like they. This is a different take on the story that was better. This is the exact it same goddamn al- thing. It, almost everything was exactly the same. Just. Yeah cutting a you know think few things mm-hmm. short just to fit into a movie but yeah maybe yeah. i'll have to read the last book again i don't know I maybe i was should. wrong maybe I'll i at least find for you where the second movie started mm-hmm. and you just read it from there maybe you'll like it better. if i if i find maybe out you that... just had a hard time visualizing it i think so yeah i think either it was a problem with the way she was describing things in the book maybe it just wasn't written well or maybe it just needed to, maybe it just needed to cut the first half and just cut out the first movie like i said i don't know but i, I really like this well, one i think if the first part of the book had been shortened like it didn't have mm-hmm. to have like i man I, i've just been it's taken me forever to get through this 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 time i mean the very first time i read it i got through in like two days because i was excited but yeah this time's taken me forever because it's just like weeks and weeks in the in the tent but you can say oh we spent a couple of weeks in the tent you don't have to like say i got up and i looked outside and i sat on guard duty and i uh, no I just, apparently she does think, have to do that but i think but i mean it doesn't mean the whole book is bad but i think mm-hmm. a lot of that could have been shortened i think maybe you've gone through so much of that by the time you got to the you know the better parts you were still like oh yeah <laughs> you know like yeah. you were just so turned off by it that maybe so I yeah i mean i will read it again and i'll i'll, I'll let you know uh, I I hate to end this on a negative note, <laughs> but, but it has the worst epilogue. Yeah, ever. this this is going to go down in <laughs> well, history. In, in the book, this too, is but, going oh. to go down in literary and cinematic history as having the worst, <laughs> most useless fucking epilogue in the history of it. They could have gone on any random day, and it would have been exactly the same. But in the movie. They're still kids. Like I was expecting them to recast and maybe they get a, a, some older. Just dress them up it's in like adult they clothes. They thought that they could just slap a beard, a beard. on them and <laughs> it's going to be older people. And Ginny has like wavy hair or something like yeah. a fancy hairdo. Like it, they that look. Was absolutely and, that, and the thing ridiculous. is, it was nineteen years later too. So I never even thought about this when I read the epilogue in the book. So they got married. I'm assuming shortly after you know the couple, the two couples, mm-hmm. Ginny and. Harry and, and Her- Hermione and Ron, but so they didn't have kids for over 10 years? Yeah. Because those kids were 11, mm-hmm. so I guess it's 19, so about 8 years later they mm-hmm. had kids. Yeah. Like, what? 
I mean, I guess that's like if maybe they went to further training and got into careers. I guess it, Ginny supposedly played for a Quidditch team or something. So yeah, but you know that would have been nice to know, other than you know, except yeah. for the fact that they're just dropping <laughs> well, the, their the kids Ginny off. The Ginny playing Quidditch. I guess that was was that in the book. I can't remember if it was in the book or if it was just like some remember. of the extra information that J.K. Rowling put out. But. Uh. I it was lousy. The epilogue was just God, lousy. I, for, I like blocked it out of my mind, I think, too, because remember when it came on, I was like, oh, no, not this. <laughs> I knew that. I, knew... I totally forgot about it. I was like, oh, God, it's so awful. I knew they were going to do it. I didn't know and, they were going to do that. And poor Albus Severus. What did he hate his kid? Yeah. Albus wants... Severus. Like, I know you like those guys and stuff, but at least maybe give him a decent first name and give him two middle names. Like, maybe, I how guess... Dumbledore had, like, three or four middle names or whatever. Like, yeah. Something Albus Severus, whatever. Like, he used to be called Albus. At the very least, they could call him Al, I suppose. I but he wants this kid to get beaten up. Like, I mean, that poor son of a bitch. Ugh, it was just horrible. Well, I didn't want to end it on a negative <laughs> note, but I did. But no, the, no, the movie was good. It doesn't ruin the movie. No, it was just... No, it was just a bad epilogue. Ugh. Real bad. But the movie is good. Um, highly recommend it. Very good job. God, they were supposed to be 40 or something <laughs> almost 40 and then yeah. or 38 or whatever yeah. the heck it is i can't do the math in my head but yeah, yeah. lousy